Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? Well, guys, we just spent probably about a good 30 minutes trying to figure out these uh, wireless road mics. That was challenging. Man. I think that they're working. I hope that they're working. I hope that they're going pretty good. Yeah. So, we'll see. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to find out. We're going to find out. They, uh, it was a little bit uh, challenging because usually you just plug um, a cable that looks like this directly into uh, the receptacle and then you're good to go. Most microphones are just plug and play, but of course, <laughs> of course, it had to be a little difficult. So it took a, it's a definitely a little bit of a learning curve um, to set it all up, but I think we might have it now. Uh, we are going to have to practice with the GoPros and make yes. sure that I can get them working out well with that before we go gung-ho and start using them all the time. Yeah. But we are going to try to start using them. We are going to try to uh, make our videos a little bit better for you guys, a little bit more to understand and, uh, yes. you know, all that good stuff. Uh, it's a... Uh it's a nice day today. It is. It's a beautiful day. It's beautiful. A little bit chilly in the mornings. I've been wearing my jacket in the mornings, um, but usually by like 10. No. You know, it's it's off and it's back to, to being nice and warm. But it's a beautiful day today. There was a gorgeous sunrise. No. Yeah, this morning. Last, last couple of days I've been wearing my, my hoodie mm -hmm. just to warm myself up. And today I was like, yeah, I'm going to suffer. I'm going <laughs> to go through it. And it's, it's time for my body to uh, get used to that. Adjust, Adjust. to the wrist. Yes, exactly. For sure. And I'm so glad I did it today because it is beautiful today. Gorgeous. We've got so much more to do. Yep. I've got to give you a list and send you off on your way after yep. this. Yep. And I'm going to be going into Boonville. I, got, I know I need to get more mud. Uh, we don't necessarily need it for what we're doing today no. because all the mudding is done. We got like this much left sanding to do um, mm. in the back and we're actually going to start doing the texture on the walls today. Yep. So we're really excited about that. Um, that being said though, guys, I will not have a video to post on Simple Life Reclaimed, the main channel for you guys today, only because I didn't want to put you guys through the hell that is watching us do the mudding and sanding uh, the entire time. <laughs> I do have some footage of the second uh, coats and stuff like that for the mudding and everything, but it was literally, I mean, like wiping peanut butter on bread and then sanding it off. And it's not super fun to do. It's not super fun to film. And I can't imagine it being super fun to, uh, to watch, you know, the replay of it. So... Um, I will be filming more today as we move on to a new step, which is the texturing. Yes. And um, I'm going to edit this out, and I will put it out for you guys tomorrow. So I hate to burst your bubble. I said that I was going to be putting two videos out in a row, but as we were working yesterday and I started thinking about it, I was like, you know what? Our people deserve better content. So I decided that uh, we're going to do that today, and we will put it out tomorrow for you guys. So. No. But this weekend is gearing up to be a super busy weekend for us. I mean, if, if uh, we have our way, you guys are going to be super excited on Monday. We have I a mean, lot to do. We're working through the weekend. Yep. yep. And we're going to be uh, putting it to work today, man. I'll yep. tell you what. It's going to be nice. David with Come On Homesteading came over yesterday, and he brought by um, his big industrial paint sprayer. And I will be going into town and picking up mud today, but I will also be picking up paint. Yes. So we might be laying some paint down this weekend. Correction, we will be laying some paint down this weekend. <laughs> it's going to get, it's happening, it's happening, we're painting the walls. I'm yeah. so excited. Um, today we just have to finish all of the texturing, yes. but we're going to be doing minimal texturing because... We don't really need a whole lot. We're mostly doing texturing um, just to kind of hide some of the imperfections, but also it makes the walls, especially with block, on the one side being a very textured uh, surface, you know, with the block and the shapes and everything, it's going to flow into the walls and look a lot nicer having the textured wall. So. Correct. It's going to be a, a lot. It's going to be a lot of uh, back and forth with the texture, but mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, we're doing the spray can uh, texturing thing, yep. just because one, we don't have to do the knockdown, two, we don't have to buy the hopper, three, we just can 
get one coat of it done and we should be done yeah and good to go we shouldn't have to go back and forth no. um i know that those cans are it's in general they're mostly used for pat work, patchwork yes. and um they're not really made used for, for what we're doing yeah but, but we that, don't really have a whole lot of drywall. And it doesn't mean that just because it's not what it's necessarily made for, that doesn't necessarily mean that, that you can't use it for that, right? Correct. So we're going to give it a try. We'll let our house be the uh, the test dummy if you guys <laughs> are yeah. interested in doing it this way. Yeah. I mean, the biggest thing is, is like I said, it's, it's not the, uh, we don't have to worry about the knockdown. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, because I've seen hoppers, I've never used the hopper before but it creates a big mess oh, with giant that. Mess. And, and it makes it to a point where you have to really tape off everything and, and make we sure. We have a big enough mess as it is with all of Correct. the sanding dust. Uh, Gary did bust out the um, uh, the vacuum yesterday. Yeah. And he started vacuuming up some of the uh, dust that I had scraped all off onto the floor with all the sanding. Oh. But there's still a lot of wipe down that needs to happen. I need to get that wet sponge in there and wipe down all the walls Which and I'm stuff. Gonna I'm gonna go in there and do all that. I'm yeah. gonna get it all prepped and ready. And then when I come home, we can texture. We can texture, get that done, and we can start working on other things. Yeah, maybe we'll get some plumbing in. Maybe. 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 It just depends on how this texturing goes, really. Yes. Um, I'd hate to promise you guys something and then not follow through. That's like the worst. Yes. That's, that's the worst feeling for me. I'm definitely, Gary and I are definitely follow through type people. Uh, we like to do what we say and say what we do. Um, and so, if we say something like, I feel really bad that we're not putting out a video today. No. I do. I feel really bad about it because I told you that we were going to. And I hate going. It makes me feel terrible when, you know, you have to go back on your word. That's why we try not to do stuff like we try not to uh, make anything like solidified plans unless we're for sure, for sure going to make that happen. So I just really wanted to get back onto our schedule of Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But... I made the executive decision, you know, like when I was starting to look at the content that we actually had recorded. And what was in the... And what we still have left to do, I was like, you know what, I feel bad just putting out a video of just this. It yeah. could be so much more exciting and such a better video if we just wait one more day, film a little bit more content, and then put it out. I think it's going to... I think you guys will be happy with that result. Yes. And it'll be a better, uh, more enjoyable thing for you guys at home to watch. So... Yep. That's why. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we have so much going on this weekend. Um, we will be painting. And yeah, maybe Gary will start putting in some of that water fixtures. So then we can also finish up the rest of that drywall stuff. But I, I don't know. It just depends on how the, the day and the weeks, the weekend flows. Um, Pretty much. We don't have much left drywall left to do. We no. will have to finish the bathroom area. But that's not going to take too long. Mm -mm. That's going to be easy to do it's like three sheets of drywood of drywall mm -hmm. like literally it's not going to be it's not going to take that long to do that no at I'm, all we kind of need to insert the bathtub and stuff first yep yeah so i got my hands full today oh well, me too sure. hey i ain't leaving you hanging no i know i know we got we got a lot to do yeah i should i should rephrase that we have our hands full today there you go <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? Uh, by the end of today, we should have all of the walls uh, textured. Yes. They should be done with that, and um, we should be ready to do maybe some painting by tomorrow. That's our goal. That's what we're trying to work for. Yes. And uh, I don't know. We'll see if we can make it happen. It's getting there. Yeah, wish us luck. Little, little by little, day by day. Yeah. We're going to get it done. Yeah. And uh, yeah, as soon as the texturing is done, the walls are painted we can actually go through and start sealing the floor yeah start and getting that done to and where that's that's it that's and then really honestly guys once the walls are painted and the floor is sealed we can move in yeah. like we don't we want to have the bathroom done pretty quickly but there's nothing that will stop us from being able to sleep in there and you know like put some of our camping furniture and stuff in there and making it a little bit more comfortable while we finish out, you know, the base of the bathroom. Yep. Um, we can go to the trailer and take a shower. We can go to the trailer and use the restroom. There's not going to be anything. We'll, we'll be in that transitional stage where we'll still be kind of using both spaces until the bathroom is finished. But we can sleep in there. Yep. And having a, you know, a lot more elbow room will be very nice. Yes. So that's... <laughs> 
if we have our way, this week coming up, we'll be sleeping inside the basement. And that's so exciting for us, guys. We've been working so, so hard. Um, again, there's going to be finishing stuff that we're going to have to do inside the basement while we're sleeping in there. Yeah. We're going to have to finish out all the water and finish the bathroom and... Um, all the blocking and all the, all the fun stuff yeah. in there. But at the same time, it will be doable. Yeah, and we'll be able to use the outside outlets and put up like a little shade covering. We do have those pop-up shades for if it's raining or if it's too sunny or hot or whatever. Although we are going into the transitional season as well, so I don't expect it to be too awful hot. Uh, but like all of the wood cutting that we're going to have to do for, you know, different things. And we could do that outside on the front patio concrete area. We don't have to do that inside the basement. Um, the only thing that we are going to have to utilize some space in the basement for is like the drywall. We can't set that outside without chancing it getting ruined. Uh, the wood and stuff that we have outside under a tarp is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it stayed dry. No. Nope. So, I mean, we'll be getting to using that as well. So, you know, we got some uh, other plans as well for that wood that I've got to uh, get everything together for. So, yeah, you guys are going to see. Fun. We got very big plans this weekend. Uh, and hopefully, man, like I, I seriously, I'm like, mm, I think we can do it. We're like the little engine that could. Yes. Just just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. So I think that hopefully by the end of this weekend, we'll have some stuff painted. We might even have the floor sealed. And then early next week, we might, we just might be able to start sleeping inside the basement, which is going to be huge for us. Yes. Absolutely huge. So. I'm excited. We are gonna have to do some shopping. Um, if that's the case at first, you know, we have camping equipment and stuff that we'll be able to use and sleep on and stuff, but we will have to go and get the kids, like, new bedding and all that. Because yep. right now all their stuff is, it's like the couch inside the basement. We could take those cushions out and put them on the floor. Yeah. And it'd literally be the same as what they have right now, which is probably what we're going to end up doing. That or um, air mattresses, just for the time being, until we can get things more settled and situated. Well, I'm hoping uh, next week itself, I'm going to be making some bed frames. Ooh, you know, we're excited. I'll put, that out. I'll put that out there. Oh, man. Some bed frames. <laughs> it's going to be fun, guys. It's going to be good. I'm so excited to uh, be this close to getting out of the trailer. The end is near. The end is near. All we, Like I said, all we really need is uh, the floor to be sealed off, the walls to be painted, um, and then we can get in there because, because, because we don't want to be doing that kind of work um, while we're staying in there. Yeah. All the rest of the work, we can be staying in there and it's not going to bother us whatsoever. Yeah. You know, like the things won't, our stuff won't be in the way, no. you know, to complete those other jobs. But those two jobs, floor ceiling and, and painting, yeah, the stuff is going to be in the way. So yeah. we're going to so, have to. We're going to have a, a lot of fun of... Uh, rearranging and cleaning up everything and getting things ready to <laughs> so much fun <laughs> start sealing everything hey you know what i'm i'm thankful i am so thankful that we are finally finally here mm -hmm. we're finally here man we just got to be careful getting things out of there because the doors are in there yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I'm going to have to go around with a, a duster and dust every, every freaking every inch. Every inch of yeah. everything. But I'm, I'm kind of waiting until we're done. Um, Sanding and everything else. Yeah, you have just a tiny bit left to do in that hallway. Yeah. I got the hallway, the laundry room. And the closet. closet. A little in the bathroom. I did most of the bathroom and I did the utility room, the storage room, and that whole front wall. There's cool. literally just a tiny bit. The cool. tiniest bit. Well, I'm going to... End up hitting it. Right yeah, the and the main reason why I didn't do it is because it still needed to dry. Yeah, it was like it was dry, but you could tell that like there was little spots that weren't completely dry. So that's why I was like, eh, let's just wait. Yeah, but it was. I mean, I could have hit it, but no, I'm glad you waited. One of those things. I'm glad you waited on one that. One of those things, but yeah. <laughs> I, uh, after struggling with these road mics, I hope that they're sounding really good. I do have um, a complete setup for our GoPros, so I'm gonna 
go to town, get the supplies, come back, mess around with those for a little bit and see if I can make them work for um, the GoPros. And then you guys will get good quality picture as well as sound. Because before when I was using the microphones, um, I was only able to use my cell phone to record for those, which is why on some of the recent videos where we were using the mic, the picture quality might not have been the best. It was like I had to sacrifice one for the other. And hopefully now I won't have to make any sacrifices when it comes to quality. Hopefully it'll be good quality audio as well as picture. That's what my, my goal is. I want to try to make this really good for you guys. As well as for us later yes. when we go to watch it, you know, in years from now. It'll be like, oh wow, that looks good. No. You know, nothing worse than like pulling out some old videos or old stuff and the audio is all... <laughs> Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> or the video is so choppy, it's like all blocky and you can't hardly see nothing. It's terrible. Yeah. Terrible. So yeah. Hopefully we can fix that problem for you guys. So day by day, we are trying to, uh, to be better as far as all, all our build. We're trying to be better as far as our video and our content for you guys. Um, but we're doing the best that we can and that's all that we can ask of ourselves. Yep. Is to just do the best that we can and be better than we were yesterday. Mm-hmm. It's the only thing anybody can do. Yeah. It's all no. anybody can do. No. I mean, you try for more than that, you're setting yourself up for failure. <laughs> so. Always try. Always try to strive for uh, success and uh, excellence. Of course. Always try. Yes. That way you don't feel like uh, you didn't put your whole heart in, you know, or you didn't put your full foot forward. Yeah. You know. You could have done more. You could have done it better if you know that's yeah. partly where shoulda coulda woulda mm -hmm. when you do your best you you don't really have the shoulda coulda wouldas correct because you know you did you did what you could you did your best mm -hmm. and there's nothing you could ask more than that especially when you're not a professional yeah and you don't do it for a living and it's there's going to be little mistakes and everything else like that but if you try your hardest to strive for the best and uh try to do your best in anything and everything you do no, doesn't matter what it is school work uh hobbies anything else out, out like anything you just try your best you're not going to be perfect nobody's perfect like <laughs> yeah there was only one one per one perfect person yes so i mean like you you're never going to be perfect yeah. you can try to strive to be that way but you're never going to get there and that's you know it's a understanding in life in a sense and you can always try your hardest to do that but knowing in the back of mind that you're not going to be perfect, you know, is a, a humbling thing, I think. Yeah. You know, and you gotta- Always strive to be better than the person that you were yesterday. Correct. That's all you can do. Correct. But uh, we're gonna, I actually, I'm sorry to cut, cut it short, guys. Um, it's actually not even that short. It's, we still rambled for, <laughs> for a, no, ramble. long enough. But we, have, we do have a lot of work that we're gonna get done today. Um, I do apologize about not having a video on Simple Life today for you guys. I will do my darndest to put one out for you guys tomorrow and you guys can see us doing there all the texturing be. and all this other stuff. I probably will mix in some of the footage from earlier, you know, of, of doing the second and coats and sanding and all that. Um, but I don't want, I just didn't want to make that be the entire video. I just was you like- You want it to almost be a full conference of yeah. what it is because there was already one out there of, uh, of taping of, of taping and mudding yeah and whatnot so, so i will put out some of the footage of us finishing you know this kind of stuff but i just didn't want to have that be the entire video i just want i didn't no. i was looking at the footage and i was like it needs more so um hopefully i'll have it all ready for you guys for a t an upload tomorrow on saturday no. um gary and i will be skipping the real talks this weekend we will be back on real talk um on monday and hopefully we'll have some really good, exciting news for you guys. Uh, we are planning on putting out a video on Monday as well. So just because we're behind behind schedule with the upload for today on Friday and we're gonna be putting it out on Saturday doesn't mean that I wanna continue that effort going forward. I'd like to get back on, on schedule and on track and do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday again next week. But with how busy our life is and how complicated things have been a little bit lately, um, it's understandable that sometimes, you know, they get pushed a day behind or whatever. So I want to thank you guys for your understanding and for being here despite um, the changes and stuff. And here on Real Talk with SLR, you guys get to be the first to find out about it. So you're not wondering and waiting when. <laughs> so I try to make sure to keep you guys informed. 
but I got to go to town. I, you got to do some more sanding. We got to do yes. some prep work. Yes, oh. we're going to be uh, covered in sawdust. Or not sawdust, the sand, sand dust, dust or yeah. whatever. I was looking Plaster like, dust. <laughs> I was looking like the abominable snowman yesterday. Completely covered from head to toe. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm man. I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, no. It is what it is. Maybe I'll take a shower before you get here. Or get when back. When you're done with the sanding, I, nope. I would advise it. No. Nope. Just because otherwise you're going to be itchy and it's going to be nasty. Everywhere. For the whole rest of the day while we're doing the... Texturing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would advise it, but that's that's up to you. Yeah. So. Yeah. But. I'm not looking forward to it getting stuck in the beard. I've already gotten mud in my beard, and it's like, oh, son of a gun. I know, I got like, it in my hair, too. I was like, why? But yeah. anyhow, I got to get off to town. Um, I love you guys. I want to say thank you so much for watching uh, today's video with Real Talk with SLR. We'll be back here on this channel on Monday. Um, stay tuned on the main channel, Simple Life Reclaimed, for a video manana tomorrow for you guys. Um, and then back on track first thing on Monday. So I love you guys. I want to say thank you for being here. And until the next one, we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.